Hello, it is me, the Dank Oreo, and today we're going to be talking about fundamentals and strategies to Heroes Evolved Mobile. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to save your ally when your teammate starts chasing the ally, but the enemy team starts to chase your teammate now. So we're going to be talking about that. Um... We're going to be talking about when does your hero need to be at the fight when uh, the enemy team is now chasing you. Uh, we're going to be talking about that. We will be talking about uh, hero uh, cap capabilities. Um, we're going to be talking about... Uh, a, a lot of stuff, maybe. I don't know. So, um, let's go ahead and watch <laughs> the video. Right, so, uh, you saw there, Wolfram was, uh, chasing with Lupina over to the Elvira, and, um, Raker. They were, they were chasing Raker and Elvira, but things started to get bad as Dr. Mad teleported to the bottom lane and started to help out the Raker and Elvira. So, um... Wolfram, he started to run back, but you saw how I was just like, uh, maybe I should help, maybe I shouldn't help, maybe it's just like, the Wolfram turns it around, and I don't need to help because he runs away, but, um, yeah, so, first instinct on when you should uh, start start moving to the direction of the team fight is uh, like right here Like about right here, okay, so your your wolf friend is coming down and He decided to take the jungle path there so uh, the Wolfram, he was coming from this direction. Uh, hold on. He was coming from this direction here. And, um, he could have just, um, you know, he could have just went down the bottom path instead over here. He could have went there. Knowing how jungle pathing works and knowing or even having the the mentality of escaping in the in the right path without dying is very essential like you need to know how how the map can work in terms of escaping uh, which escape route is going to benefit you the best um having that knowledge on yourself can predict when your teammate is going to go in the right direction so you need to save him um apparently here though um wolfram unfortunately died because he got dome breakered by the elvira 
right so uh, we'll take a look here at uh, the video All right so Wolfram decides to fight again since he saw me uh, attacking both of the people here so yeah and again um, my teammate had vision up here at the top um, it let me know if I could have I could have helped Wolfram after all. Just having that small bit of vision because I saw Doctor Mad uh, in the bot lane. I saw him getting an assist when he killed Lapina, and so there is there is a ward up there. I used the ward to to just know um, if like. I was able to help or not I don't know like having a ward you, you have vision and you have knowledge of the map so uh, yeah that's pretty much why I, I went to save my teammate because there is vision there I don't want to die I don't want to like do a lot of stuff so oh, yeah pretty much how to uh, save your your enemy I mean, how, how to save your ally. Uh, we, if we take a look back, though. Um, it all started from mid lane here. So, you got two enemies chasing with low HP to another... Two heroes with low HP, right? They start going in. Um, you know why... Why not just have uh, the Wolfram here go all the way to top lane, get that farm, you know, or, uh, yeah, crazy. But it did not happen that way. So, you know, like, picking a hero in which you know can save an ally... Heroes such as Dalchon, uh, Pandora, uh, Eastine, uh, Raker, you know, and many, many, many more heroes that, that, that have the efficient abilities to save your ally when they're in need of help in, inside of ranked game, normal game, uh, Valley of War, Altar of Strife, uh, any of those game modes. You pick a hero that can save your team. You'll be good. Um, so, pretty much there. Also, uh, if you notice here, I placed the ward over here. And also, you need to have self knowledge that you don't you don't want uh, the enemy team to start farming this wave down here because. That's going to further push these minions to hit your tower over here, and your tower dies. You can't teleport to that tower anymore. So I chose to go in this direction. You gotta, you gotta get the the enemy team away from the minions as far as possible. Let your minions stack up and uh, keep keep pushing your minions forward onto the map. You don't, you don't want the enemy team to to come down here, take these minions. Take these jungle minions. Take this cigar over here, just because uh, you yourself decided to come here and then go left. I mean, or like you know, go go into the the lane, right? So uh, you come down here. This, this is your escape route now. You gotta choose the side. You know, you gotta keep pushing that way. Um, yeah, it was a triple kill by me. I got a solid triple kill. It's kind of easy. Anyways. Um, so like, over here though. Over here, you, you take a look at the map. You got Raker, Avira, and Dr. Matt. 
all waiting up here. So they they went from uh, they went from up here. They kept going, and now they're in the lane here. With with no knowledge of the enemy team, just wanting to teleport there for no reason. You know why do they do that? You don't know. Anyways, um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, please like it if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want more hot content. So thank you for watching.